Hello everyone, I am Tane from Blue Programming and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am not bringing you like a complete project, but this time around I am bringing you some cool animation buttons and you can use those buttons in your website. There are different options to choose from. I have done a range of buttons, some 14-15 buttons for different animations and we will see that how you can make them. So first of all, I will start with the HTML file. So in the start, just the basic HTML elements, the dot file, HTML head, meta, and all these elements. These are just you can say some things that you have to put in start for the HTML to work properly. So after that, what I'll do is I'll just import some fonts using this Google API, and then moving on, I'll code the main page. So in the main page, there isn't much content. There, such there are simply just buttons. 15 of them so one by one i'm making a button giving them each a different class for example custom button button one custom button button two button three and so on so by doing this what i'm doing is that i'm giving different class to each button so that i can style them differently afterwards in the css style sheet so you can see that all of the buttons are written and coded pretty much similarly the, the text that reads on them is read more and you can put whatever text you want in whatsoever and then style them. So now after the HTML is done, we now have to move on to the CSS. CSS is the important part in this project. Why? Because the styling that we have to give it to the buttons, the animation will come from the CSS. So let's start. So first of all, I'm just giving some basic styling to the body, the H1 tag, this is just a background text and all those kind of things. This has not anything to do with the buttons yet. When I'll move to the buttons, then I'll name the each button and then we'll give its properties differently. So this custom button, this is the class for all the buttons and this is the information or the properties that we'll give to all the buttons and then we'll move on to the individual class for each button. So for example, for the button one, we'll give, we'll give a background, the border, and then what we have to do is we have to give two more things. For example, the hover and the after or before. So for hover, what it does is whenever I hover a mouse, these are the things that will change. So I'm just changing the gradient and so on. Similarly, moving on to the button two, I'm giving the properties, then button to before and button to hover. So what it is before the hover and what it is when I hover over it. So similarly, I'll be moving on to the button 3. You can see that the properties that I'm changing, they aren't much difficult. They are just simply the background color, width, height. But most importantly, the thing that I'm changing is the button and the text color and all that. So not much is changing. I'm just like giving some shadows for some button. And also might be, I'll just give some, you can say different outlines to some button just change the color bar for the button itself and change that of text so all of those i'm just doing it differently for each of the buttons so to change all those of all those things some buttons require some more css code while others require some less css code for example if we just need to change the background color over hover we just need to change the background color here in the code when you hover it now before and after is like what it is before and after you hover or click over it so before and after needs to be the same because when i hover over it and i move the mouse away it needs to go back into its original color or the color that was it before i hovered over it okay so that is the main idea behind this so what you can see is that i'm simply taking on each class for the button from button 1 to button 5 uh, from button 1 to button 15 and then i'll just change its properties for before, after and hover. So the properties that I'm changing is not much. Again, I'm telling you that the properties are not too much difficult properties that I'm changing. This is just the color background or the box shadow. So up till now, we have, we have moved to the button five. As you can see from the properties, nothing much is changing here. This time I'm giving the box shadow for this button, button five and after what happens is it hides from the right and top and what is button hover before and hover after which remains this and i'm also giving a transition 
so wherever i'm giving a transition it means it means that how the transition will take effect like how much smooth it will be how much quick it will occur or how much slow it, slow it will occur so i'm just giving it a time limit um, within the transition property similarly i need the similar kind of things in the button six hover before after hover before hover after so these are just the things that you can control within the css it is within the css you can control a lot of things for example what happens before something what happens after you click it what happens during you click it what happens when you have clicked it so all those things you can control it just simply by using these keywords just like before after hover and then hover and before then hover and afterwards and all these kind of things so so for example for now if you do not know much of css or you just want to test out the buttons of how it will look you can simply copy paste that button particular button from the html code or you can write a code for the button yourself and pick the css styling from this particular video or from the particular link that i'll share and you can just paste that into your css and don't forget to give the button in the html file the same classes as we've given in the css and you'll see the effect there now it is not hard coded that you can uh, that you'll get the same color and all that when you copy the paste you'll get the same color as what you see on my screen but you can always change the color change the transition values change the before and after values to match the theme of your website or whatever you are building you can add more things add less things do like uh you can do like uh, match merge two of the styles together take one thing from one style other thing from the style and make a new style yourself so you can always play with it find new things of how it suits your website how it suits the theme that you are trying to give your website whatever content it uh, content is in your website how it suits that and then you can always make the changes and find new and interesting things and you can always play around with it because this is not some technical stuff it will not change your website of how it works it will just change its appearance and then you when you make the changes you can see which button fits the best with your website and you can go on with that so until now we have moved moved on to the button 9 again you can see there's pretty much the same properties within the css that i'm changing the background image using the linear gradients using the backgrounds box shadows so you can use whatever you want you can use a solid color in the background you can use a linear gradient in the background you can use a solid color for the text a gradient for the text or you can even use some images if you want that merely depends upon you of how you want to style it how you want to customize it for your website so up till now we're on the button 10 as you can see just the same properties position center top c index width height let's get transform transform so again as i'm telling you the transform and transition they are related to the animation effect like if the button is turning or there is something or that when you hover over it the color changes but it slides from left to right all that this is related to this transition properties and the animation thing and it also helps you define of how quickly the button will change the color of how slowly will it how will the uh, will the transition look like how will the animation look like and you can control it so this is what css is really useful for it helps us give a lot of functions so in the webkit keyframes it is again i'm telling you this is just for the button that i have clipped as you saw on the screen and you'll look at the end too in the video so this is to give that animation effect now we're on button 12 for now and again i'm using the same thing the background then the display color the background is a linear gradient then the, there's a box shadow the text line is within the center then again this web kit and the box sizing and the transition is for the transition and animation for the button 12 dm style uh, it will go on to the box shadow will change this like the properties that i've given it will the new properties will be this one then for the second child 
of this button 12 so for this second child is that whatever uh, whatever when i say the nth child this means that whatever the tags are within that button tag okay so it may be any tag for example text tag between the button the span tag between the button so that one as you saw that i used a span tag between the buttons in my html so that just helps us to style the text within that one within the button it also helps us to change the color of the text or maybe the font of the text you can make the text bold you can make the text italic when you hover over a button and you can do all that so by using similar kind of properties and the similar logic similar idea that you have to change the button for before and after when it's active and you can do whatever you want change the colors and by doing by doing the same things you have reached till button 14 again you can see the properties are pretty much the same that we've been using in the previous buttons the position the transition the box shadow the top the right the bottom and all that now we will finish with the button 15 the final button so again the background border zine the exposition content as you can see in some of them i've given more styling while in others i've given less styling this is because the animation that i'm trying to achieve for some buttons requires a little, a little bit of more changing uh, after the hover and for others it doesn't require a little bit of changing for example it only requires the change of background for one color so when we hover over it the styling change do not too much and will require less, co less code and so on so now you can see the 16 button is done and this is the output as you can see when you hover over each button and click over each button or the ones that say click you'll see a different effect you can see animations of the colors changing different way of animation the colors also change simply without animation as you can see so this is all that you can do using css and the html that i've given you and you can choose whatever the button suits your website the best thank you for watching this video if you like this video do like this video give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any suggestions regarding any project that you want me to do please do leave it in the comments and i'll surely get it to you until next time goodbye see you in the next video